Hey, what's up guys, I do my help here, and today I wanna to show you guys how to optimize the storage on your iPhone running iOS 11. Now some of these are also gonna work on iOS 10, but focusing on iOS 11, and I do know a lot of devices now start on 32 gigabyte entry level model, but some older devices that support iOS 11 do not come with 32 gigabyte, they start with 16, so this is gonna be very useful for you. And even though I do have a 32 gigabyte iPhone 7 Plus, I sometimes find myself hard to get by with 32 gigabytes of storage. So let's, let me show you how to optimize the storage on your iOS device. Now, of course, messages is one of those things that you wanna delete if you wanna optimize the storage because all the histories and all the threads are still there, all the pictures and content are there. But first I wanna take a look at messages. And messages, you have a few options down here, starting with the low quality image mode. This allows you to receive a lower resolution image when somebody sends you a photo through messages, therefore taking up less space on your device. You also have the option to keep your message history. The message history here you can keep for 30 days, for a year, or forever. Usually is ticked forever when you open your messages uh, extension here in settings, but I usually go for 30 days. This option will remove all old messages within 30 days of you receiving that messages, so you don't have to go back and delete those messages. Now there's also an audio expire option here. This option will allow you to have your audio messages expire within two minutes of you listening to them. All these files, messages, videos, photos, attachments of any kind take up space on your device if you don't delete them from messages and a lot of people forget to go back. So the 30 day option here for deleting messages is very important. Now I also wanna talk about the photos options here. A few things you wanna keep in mind is my photo stream, your iCloud photo, your iCloud photo sharing. All these take space on your device. If you don't use these services, I recommend you tick them off and that way all that storage will come back to your device. If you do use them, of course, then these are gonna be options that are not gonna be for you. Right here under the camera, there's a few important things here that to look at. Uh, the first thing is the HDR, the high dynamic range. Uh, if you take a photo on your iPhone, you might notice you always have two images of the same photo. And that's gonna be because one is HDR and one is the normal. So you wanna tick off here, turn off, keep a normal photo and only keep the high dynamic range. So you're gonna get the best quality photo all the time. This way you only keep the high dynamic range and you don't keep the raw image giving you both images, so just keep one every time. Right here, when it comes to video recording, there's a few options you can consider here. Either go into 720, 1080, 30 frames, 1080, 60 frames. If you go 4K, 30 frames, that's gonna take the maximum storage on your device. So I usually try to stay within uh, 1080, 60, and 30 frames there. That's gonna help with the storage. Scrolling up here into the Generals tab, of course, iPhone or iPad storage option. This is a place you wanna go to if you're looking to improve the capacity of storage on your device. Now, I don't have any issues. Luckily, I have the 128 gigs, but right here you see the iCloud photo. You can enable that, but again, it's gonna take up storage on your device. The offloading of unused applications. This is a very awesome option. If you have an application that hasn't been used for quite some time, it will remove it from your device automatically without you knowing, giving you back to storage and then keeping the data. So it doesn't delete the data, it just removes the application. So let me give you an example here. You have the app Apple support application here. This application is 41 megabytes of storage that's taking up on my device. The documents within the application are only 25 kilobytes. So if I offload this application, I get 41 kilobytes back or megabytes back on my device and I only keep the data, the documents and data. Now the application is not gonna be useful as you can see there, but whenever I want it back, just go ahead and re-download it and that storage is gonna be taken up again, but you never lose your data, which is very important. As you can see there, the application was downloaded again. Of course, once you download it, then it's gonna take up the storage one more time. When it comes to Apple Music and built-in stock applications like Safari, Mail, and all that, you get different extensions here where you can swipe and delete documents and even web data and history. So those things take up storage. So you can swipe and delete all your web data and storage. Offline reading list, you can swipe and delete. All this same concept applies to the uh, TV application for movies and TV shows. You can offload the application or delete lead particular uh, movies or TV shows. You also have the messages tab, which we already talked about right here is a better breakdown. Now you can offload the application for messages because it's a stock application that can't be deleted. But if you go into photos, you can remove photos individually. And the same thing applies with video and other sort of attachments like GIFs and stickers. Same thing applies in photos. All Apple stock applications will give you suggestions of things that you can enable. And you can also remove uh, by simply swiping like history and things 
things like that. Now, third party applications only give you the option to just sort of just offload the application, giving you the storage back. But nonetheless, it is a good option to have. You can also go to the Safari tab here and scroll all the way down and delete web history and data. You can do that from the previous tab that I showed you, but if you choose to do it from there, you also have the option. Now, there's a tab here in photos that a lot of people always get confused, and I get this question so much from friends and family. They delete photos and they, they say, you know, I didn't get any storage back. It's because they forget to delete the trash can, okay? So the recently deleted folders here, the trash, it's always keeping your photos for 30 days. So as you can see there, there's a countdown. There's even a number there that says 29. As you can see, within 29 days of deleting this photo, it's gonna be completely removed from my device. But if you need that storage now, you can go and delete all the pictures and videos that you want, but they're gonna still be there, very similar to a computer. Then you have to go to the trash and then delete all the ones that are in the trash as well. Again, very similar to a computer. But anyway, guys, that about brings an end to this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to click that like button and much more videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.